Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings, where last episode we died. So we're now this kid. We're 11 and that's a slight problem for us because we have this duchy that we paid to make that we actually can't hand out because the council won't let us. So <laughs> this is kind of dumb, but honestly, I'm just going to destroy the title. What does your vassals will be upset minus 40 opinion? Oh, uh, maybe not then. Okay, um, we definitely want to hand it out to this guy. I mean, he's a de liege. He already holds multiple duchies, so he's probably going to want to hand it out himself. That said, is that de jure part of his kingdom? Yeah, it's de jure part of his kingdom, so he should hold it. It's these things over here that we want to take away from him, which is de jure part of the kingdom of Ifrika. Which... Who holds this? This guy does. How close are we to being able to usurp it? Well, he's at war. So this is all de jure part of the Sultanate of Afrikia. Okay. Interesting, interesting. So we do have a marriage that we need to set up for ourselves. And there's a couple of vaguely interesting options. I mean, we could go for like the Duchess of Wessex over here, Duchess of Raetia. I'm not sure where that is. She's Frankish though, so probably somewhere over in this region, which might go well with our other European holdings, whereas this would be very difficult for us to defend. Who is she? Yeah. This would come out of Germany right here. But she also holds awkward territories. I like it. Yep, we'll do this. Fantastic. Okay, so that's done. Now we do need to get this duchy situation sorted out. We are 11. I mean, all things considered, I think think we're kind of okay to stay put. And it also bears noting that we're only at 60% threat because of that rather long war for Yemen, which we won. So people are leaving the defensive pact. So that's good. You get the Ubliet. I'd like to join the community of St. Anthony. Also, is it just me or is this music a little louder than it usually is? I'm going to go ahead and turn this down ever so slightly. There we go. That's better. Fantastic. Oh, what's going on over here? Houseland, are you at war again? Oh, he's, at, he's holy warring against Songhai again. Okay, who all joined? Molly did. I mean, eventually Houseland is going to succeed, right? Did the Spirit Guardians join? They didn't. If you crush this force right now, you might be able to win this, Houseland. Ruler is personally leading troops, so you could potentially capture her before Molly showed up. Ah. Molly is a suzerain of Songhai now. Okay, that explains why they're definitely in this. Yep. You're not going to win this now. Your opportunity is gone. It was a very slim margin that Houseland had. Jerusalem Knight Holy War for Arabia. Like, is that a duchy or a kingdom? Is he holy warring for this kingdom? Or is it the overall Arabia title? I don't know, but we can't help him. He's on his own. I mean, if he takes this... Is this on the Arabian Revolt that he declared? Yeah, he declared on the Arabian Revolt. Okay, that's a smart war declaration. Yeah. 
I can get behind that. Well, I can't, but I can approve of it from a distance. <laughs> so we became brooding. So yeah, we'll go for a stewardship education here. Excellent. Okay, there's a de jure war over Mercuria. If it's de jure, that's okay. Houseland is not winning, <laughs> to no one's surprise. Hello. So the king of Egypt just declared a holy war for Tripolitania. So he's claiming these last little areas of Arabia over here. There's still this over here, but uh, Arabia is definitely on the decline right now. We have two powerful kings both fighting Arabia currently. We can't help them unless we were to declare a de jure war to press our claims to Yemen. We have a truce with them, don't we? No, they have a truce with us. We'd want to declare this on Arabia, not on the Arabian Revolt. Or wait until the revolt was over. One or the other. If we were to declare, it'd be our de jure claim on Dofar, right? Oh, that would be this over here. That is de jure part of Yemen, isn't it? Well, just this. What would we declare this as? Um, I kind of do want to do this. De jure claim on Dofar, which is... Yeah, that's interesting. Alternately, we could do a Holy War for Sana. Holy War for Oman. Or we could just claim the remnants of Yemen. Which would be, I believe... Let's see, this is Hejaz here. We had Hejaz previously. This is Mecca and Medina. You know how sad they would be if we took Mecca and Medina away from them? I mean, we did start with it, and we had to give it up early on. We're back. Let's go. I'm just going to raise personal levies for this. But in we go. Because he's occupied with his revolt, with this army, this army. Yeah. Arabia is in dire straits right now. So we'll get the de jure claim for Yemen, this, this, and this, when the Arabian Revolt is over. We do need a new court chaplain, and this guy will do. Excellent. Is anybody defending him? Not yet. Fantastic. Well, yeah, he can't be in a defensive pact. He's actually it's still too big for that. So that's fine. We're just chewing up little bits of Arabia and spitting them out. I love it. We're going to go grab this territory over here. The Arabian Revolt just finished. Okay, have fun with that. Okay, that's fine. We're already at 13% war score. How? Hmm. Oh, Jerusalem's occupations count towards our war score. But Jerusalem's war is actually over now. Because the Arabian Revolt is over. That's okay. So we're going to group this force up here. And do we have enough to assault? We do indeed. And so we shall. There we go. Excellent. Still enough. Fantastic. I don't suppose we have enough over here. No, that's fine. 
We're already at 70% war score right now. What? That is an insane level of war score to be at right now. Considering he hasn't even had time to respond to this. Well, I do want to get back all of the territories that we originally held. We're at 99% war score right now. He's surrendering. Well, that was easy. So, there's a little bit of border gore here, but that's okay. We will clean that up when we go after Yemen. So, we're going to go ahead and put this down. Actually, we're going to need to do this number. There we go. These guys can come on back to the capital. And yeah, we, uh, we have some small amounts of threat right now. We may have just taken Mecca and Medina back from the Arabians. They're going to be a little bit salty about that. Now, we do have some wrong types of holding in our domain. We are massively over our domain size, so we are going to need to hand out some titles. First off, we're going to do this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. <laughs> we have a lot of titles to hand out. There we go. Excellent. Now, I don't think we have the duchy title. We'll have to take a look at that. Okay. So there's our vassals. That brings us down to 14 out of 8 domain size. Everyone is going to be in a defensive pact against us. That is just going to happen. Literally everyone who can will join the defensive pact against us with us at 100%. So that's a thing. But this is a big bite that we just took out of Arabia. I like it. So did we get the duchy? We did not. So the duchy of Hejaz is still going to be de jure held by us, but... Well, it's going to be de jure held as part of the Sultanate of Arabia, but it's going to be held by this guy. Now, this guy is currently defending against this up here, which is still ongoing. So that is something that we'll have to keep in mind. But we need to hand out this territory, despite the fact that we are not going to be able to hand out the duchy title just yet. So we'll need to grant this guy the county of Jeddah. That'll work. Everybody's in favor of that. And then we will grant this guy the county of Kabar would work. We'll need to grant this guy the county of, I believe, Mecca will work. Yes. And then we'll grant this guy the county of Medina. Okay. Now we are over our vassal limit. That's fine. We'll deal with that in a moment. Next, we're going to grant this guy. Wait, is that all of them? Asir and Tihama. Yeah, I thought that it wasn't all of them. Okay, and then we will invite this guy to court and you get the county of Tihama. Perfect. Now, as soon as that war finishes up over here, we are going to be able to usurp this title and give that to a duke. Should be perfect. Now, this is not de jure part of the kingdom of Yemen, which is just this. It's de jure part of the kingdom of Arabia. And in, in fact, that's our first part of Arabia that we hold. Excellent. So, to that end, can we upgrade any castles? Oh, we absolutely can upgrade castles. There we go. Because we are going to have to chill for a good long time now. Our threat is uh, way up there. Oseland, what are you doing over here? Okay, that war is over. Houseland lost their war. The king of Egypt is, of course, fighting over here. And he is 8% done with his war. Okay going to be a little bit. Good thing we just spent all of our gold. 
House and Civil War to increase council power. Okay, I don't really like that, but if they get declared on, then we will uh, we'll be able to defend them. So that'll be fine. I really want this war to end, though. 40% in favor of the King of Egypt. That's good. He is... Okay, 62%. 65%. Was this guy heir to the Duchy of Savoy? Burn him. Excellent. War to revoke, that's fine. I'm not concerned about that. We do have a Chancellor position open, and we'll give it to the King of Yemen. Just keep him out of out of trouble there. And in the meantime, we will have him go make some trouble. Perfect. Anywhere we can study tech? Actually, yeah. We'll study tech over there. Perfect. I think we'll come off of training troops for now. We have no reason to do that for a bit. We just got the County of Jeddah back, and I'm not a huge fan of that. So we're going to go ahead and make another holy man, because the last one basically instantly died. There we go. I don't suppose they'd let us hand this duchy title out. Nope, they're still voting against it. As soon as we come of age, we'll be able to hand it out in three years. So that'll be fine. Currently only making six gold per month because we are reinforcing a large amount of our retinues currently. Oh. Good job, Poland. Good job. We could grab a point of trade practices. Oh, hello. We can grab this title. The Duchy of Tripolitania. Um, we can't afford to create it. I'm going to go ahead and set our retinues to reinforcing at half speed right now. We can enlarge our retinues, but we're a little bit short on money. That will change very quickly. Now, we do want... Okay, he created this title. That's, that's fine. We do want to usurp this one. No, not the Empire of Abyssinia. We want to usurp the Emirate of Hejaz. Apparently, this guy is still at war. Oh, there's a Hindu uprising. Awkward. Awkward indeed. Do we want to kill the king of Jerusalem? He loves us. No. We don't want to. He has literally a hundred opinion of us. Uh, this guy. Yep. Literally a hundred opinion of us. Fantastic. So when is this guy going to be out of this war? Well, that's a good question. Prince of Jerusalem and this random courtier that we don't really care about. Go for it. That is acceptable. I'm hoping, with the kind of power that the King of Egypt has amassed, I'm hoping that he starts pushing against the Byzantines. Although he is kind of sufficiently powerful that we're going to want to break him up before we import into Europa, or else he's probably going to import as a vassal, which would be potentially problematic with the amount of power that he has in Europa. Like in Crusader Kings, it's fine to just keep him on your council, and then you don't really have to worry about him. But in Europa, if he's too powerful, but he's your vassal when he's imported, it's not going to work so well. He's going to be pretty disloyal, and you're not going to be able to annex him. So that'll be exciting. We do have access to quite a lot of troops at this point. We do also need to get ourselves a few more retinue troops, and I think I'm going to grab another shock retinue. And we can't quite get a cavalry retinue. Okay, 
That'll be fine. 8,100 for our retinue. That's starting to get pretty powerful. Like, in general, we are starting to get very powerful indeed. Oh, tech points. Fantastic. I'll take those. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we need an educational focus, apparently. I thought I put us on stewardship education, but apparently I did not. Or no, wait, this is our brother. Okay. And yeah, we're over our vassal limit. As soon as this guy's out of this war. Out of these wars. Arabia's kind of falling apart now that we've managed to grab a bunch of territory from them. Like, it's not going so well for Arabia anymore. I wouldn't be surprised if Tibet or India starts pushing into this territory over here. Byzantines up over this way. And we're going to finish grabbing the Arabian Peninsula, of course. Excellent. Just for the purposes of hilarity, I'm going to go start converting Mecca. So, let's make that Miaphysite. Excellent. We have an 11.57% chance annually of converting Mecca. We're also going to be joining the community of St. Anthony as soon as we can for the purposes of conversion. We have quite a lot of converting to do in these areas over here, these areas over here. Even some of this still has work to do. So that is definitely something we're going to be doing when we come of age. Which, of course, we are not yet. We could become rivals with this kid. Or we could become zealous, and that would be really good for us. Since we're planning on joining the community of St. Anthony. That will be perfect. Hmm. A ducal war for a claim on the Duchess of Damat and Gondar. I mean, I kind of wish that the King of Yemen, if he's going to declare things, would declare out here. I mean, we're not on the uh, external vassal war declaration. We need imperial administration for that, but... Okay, we're now deceitful. That's interesting. Oh, we haven't set our crown focus. Oh, an adventure. Whatever. Okay, crown focus in our capital. Perfect. Not too interested in developing anywhere else just yet. Oh, hello. Something we didn't have enough money to upgrade. Okay. We will have enough soon enough. Wow, we're making that much while reinforcing? I don't think there's a good reason to become homosexual right now. We better keep these thoughts to ourselves. We don't want to muddy the line of succession. We have enough siblings as it is. Excellent. I'd love to grab a point of cities and temples. We don't quite have enough for that. We will in a few months, though. Okay, the Chancellor... Okay, the King of Yemen here was struggling with what to do. Or actually, he helped us. Never mind. Um, do we want to pay him 78 gold? I mean, it's only 78 gold. Like, we don't really care. We're actually going to bump our retinue reinforcement back up to full because we're making a ton now. There we go. And we can get ourselves a military advance. That is phenomenal. I think we will go for a military organization advance. That'll give us potentially more retinues, as well as just generally good things. I usually like to go for that first, so we will go for that. And I think... Wow, 26.4k. Okay, we can get some more retinues. And so we shall. I'm going to get a unit of heavy cavalry. So that puts us up to 400. So we have eight of those. And then these shock retinues, we have what? 13 of those right now? I think we'll take our number of 
Actually, we'll make two more cavalry retinues. And then we'll make a shock retinue. And then two more cavalry... Oh, we're full. Never mind. I thought we could get one more retinue in, but this is good. This is fine. So that puts us at a cap of 9350 now. And of course, this is going to be pretty expensive to reinforce these for a little bit. But we can grab the Duchy of Jared. I don't want to do that. I want to usurp the Emirate of Hejaz. But he's still at war. Hmm. But this guy isn't? The guy that holds this? Oh, it got destroyed. Okay. This guy's going to create the duchy. It's fine. No sense in paying for it. Can we give this guy his title? Nope. Okay. Okay, there's a Monophysite uprising in Katsina, which is... I forget where that is. Over here. We'll just send our retinues to go deal with it. It's a long ways away, but that'll be fine. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to continue letting our threat drop a little bit and consolidating our position. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.